Okay, here we are turning into Vandiver West, turning from Aspen onto Honolulu. The roads are good. We've got speed humps to keep traffic slow. So far, all the houses look great. Seeing lots of little men out their garages and their yards. Those are good neighbors to have. They'll keep their yards nice and tidy and keep property values at a high. Alright, here we are in Narcissus. We're gonna go back south. And the property will be here on our left. It's the gray house there with the flag. Okay, here we are at 3003 Narcissus. It's a three bedroom, two bath, built in 1991 on 0 0.18 acre, 1679 square feet. And the price is 175, which is $104 a square foot. It's a very, uh, it's a very attractive house. Lots of great curb appeal. Are so good. You've got a newer privacy fence here. It actually looks like they've widened the driveway. The typical driveway is just a two car, but they've added this third section and it almost looks like it goes through. So you may have an extra parking spot back behind there. That's nice. The brick is pretty. It's a gray and off white. It's a, it's a gray and yeah, gray and off-white, almost whitewashed over some of the dark gray with a little bit of red coming through. It's actually a really attractive brick color. I'm not sure what this goes to there. It's a sensor for something, maybe a camera. I'm not sure. You've got some um, exposed wires there where they probably had an old light. They're capped, but it really needs to have a plate put over it. And that's something the inspector will recommend paint looks good this is a 1991 home so we're not going to see as much outdated um, issues as we've seen in maybe some of the other older homes even today that we've looked at new fence again chimney looks great all of the siding the soffit the fascia everything looks really great very pretty Okay, the foyer has a ceramic tile. It's a 12 by 24 wood look. It's actually really pretty. We've got a coat closet right off of the foyer. It smells wonderful in this house. I don't know what they've done, but it smells so good. So it's kind of a long, skinny living room, right? You first walk in, you've got this little foyer here with a high ceiling. And then it goes into this really big, long, open combo space. I like it. I actually like this layout a lot. You've got, uh, I think that's stainless steel actually on the light fixtures. You've got built-in bookshelves flanking the fireplace. Those are ceramic gas logs. So it's a very easy fire to make. 
flip a switch in most cases. This is pretty. It's nice high ceilings. The carpet's in good shape. I don't think that's a stain. I think that's just uh, where a foot drug. Yeah. It looks nice. Let's go through to the kitchen. Yeah, this is really pretty. Very, very pretty. Again, with the nice high ceilings, white cabinet. You could really dress it up a bit if you put some hardware on these knobs, or I'm sorry, hardware or knobs on these cabinets and drawers. But very pretty. It's a glass extended subway tile. Beautiful, pretty granite. Nice, big, deep 60-40 stainless sink and stainless pull down faucet. This is a nice house. Very nice, very new, very modern, pretty. And then this would be your breakfast nook. Same tile flooring throughout. I love this tile. This is more of a grayish as well. This is a good space. Those tiles are 12 inches wide and 24 inches long if you want to take a room count, size count. Let's go ahead and go out the back door while we're here. So not a huge yard, but you do have two very nice big trees. You've got a little bit of what we call negative gradient. That's where the ground actually goes toward the house. It's great that they have that row of brick to kind of stop that moisture from getting on your siding. But that's probably why a lot of this is just dirt. There's not a lot of grass because you get all of the drainage coming off of your neighbor's land who appears to be set up a little bit higher. We have had an unbelievable amount of rain this year. So that's probably a lot to do with it. Uh, although now that I look, I think they might have dogs and I think this may be the dog's path to run. That may be why there's so much bare spot. Even if that's the case, there is going to be a little bit of a drainage issue. So that's something to ask an inspector about. Looks like they had a tire swing in that. It's so cute. And some, a raised bed here. Yeah, there's an, a third parking or I guess fourth parking spot over there. That's really nice. That air conditioning unit's in Ameristar. I can tell by looking at it, it's new. I guess within the past five years. So far, so good. What is this? I don't know what that is. All right, let's keep going. I like the archway going into the hallway. And again, a grayish color on the walls and the carpets. So a nice, good sized laundry room leading to the garage. And that is a metal door on the garage. Nice size two car garage. There's our water tank, which is huge and it's very new. It's a 2014 model and it's a 50 gallon. That's awesome. Here's your attic access. And then that goes outside and there's your electrical panel there. All right, bedroom number one. This is probably the smallest of the three. About 14 by 12. Nice closet. Nice 
Nice linen closet. Nice Honeywell digital thermostat. Doorbell and smoke detector. Oops. Oh, so there's just not a light in this hallway. <laughs> Okay, bedroom number two. This feels a little more roomy. Maybe, let's see. No, 14, so I think this is the same size as the first bedroom. And the closet is a good size as well. Hall bathroom here. Very pretty. It's got granite countertops, ceramic tile, flooring. It's got an acrylic insert for the tub. It's a good size if you want to count floor tiles. Good size. Which brings us to the master. First thing I notice is, look at those ceilings. It starts a vault pretty well immediately. Wow, yeah, this is a big room. Look how high that ceiling is. This is very pretty. Those are some very big pieces of furniture. That's a king size bed and still plenty of room. Uh, you've got a little entryway here. I'm just gonna count from this spot. About 17 feet by 17. Very nice. These two windows are east facing. So that's gonna wake you up in the mornings. So the toilet is kind of tucked back behind the door, which I kind of like. Dual vanity with beautiful granite. This is a really pretty bathroom. Very pretty. Beautiful glass and porcelain tile surround on this huge jacuzzi tub. Dual closets. And a very nice shower. Door needs to be cleaned, but that's fixable. Beautiful, so that's a charcoal, almost slate type tile with this really pretty porcelain inset or ceramic inset. Very nice. This house is beautiful. Everything feels so new. Very pretty. And back to the living room.